for people who don't know the books, what can you describe for the fans oh about what to expect from her? Right. Well, <clears throat> it's um, a lot. <laughs> yeah, you, you you love her or you hate her. She's um, <laughs> she's fairly formidable woman. Mm. Um, she she does not suffer fools mm. at all, mm -hmm. and she sees fools everywhere. <laughs> um, she's been married several times. Mm. She's a great woman for going through her husband. I don't, I don't know. She liked the engagement rings or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, I think one of the things that we've been looking at a little bit or that I've been uh, thinking about or trying to process um, as a woman of her time, even though, um, you know, she has ended up in quite a powerful position. She's wealthy and she, she uh, runs a plantation. Mm. Um, she's very little real power mm. uh, or her power has to be sort of hidden and controlled and could be taken away from her very quickly mm. by the men around her. Mm. Uh, and despite all that she has worked for and gained um, and despite her obvious uh, intellect um, and, and strategy, she's mm. strategic and manipulative, um, but still just by virtue of being a woman in that time, mm. it could really slip away very, very easily. She plays a very, a very close game. I am also interested to find out more about playing a blind character. Is this your first time playing someone who doesn't have their sight? And what are yeah. the challenges in that? Yeah, it has been very challenging in a way that I hadn't quite expected, actually. No, I have never done it before. Mm. Um, I did sort of, uh, in the days and weeks leading up to coming over here, I was practicing, you know, I was trying to figure out how I was going to move around, you know, what a difference it would make to my body. And um, I knew that we had discussed it and that I wouldn't be wearing anything artificial. I wouldn't be wearing lenses or anything like that or having my eyes mm. closed. That right. wasn't going to be an option. Um, so I was sort of practicing trying to defocus my eyes a little bit. And uh, but then I didn't really comprehend what it would mean to me. Uh, until the very first scene that mm. we did. Mm -hmm. And I realized that it, throughout all of my acting on the show, I was never going to be able to make eye contact with anybody. Mm. And if you think about that, I, I mean, in real life, we we give all our cues, not just in acting, but mm -hmm. in, in life, we give all our cues with our eyes. We take all our cues or so much of it. Right. And um, it was extraordinarily isolating. Mm -hmm. I was really, when it literally, when it hit me, the first, I was just like, oh, I'm going to be so lonely for like <laughs> no. But then, of course, we're not in between. I, right. I, I do use my eyes on that a method. Right. But to find that connection with people, yeah, to not be able to look in their eyes must be very hard. It was really uh, a properly a new thing to think about and learn. Yeah. I find that I use my ears as my eyes all the time. I constantly respond to the sound or where people's bodies are by, by it. Yeah, it's it's really been interesting.